Welcome to Career Insights. The Career Insights series features local industry professionals engaged in conversation with students and recent graduates about career planning and job opportunities in Polk County, Florida. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Construction Career Lunch and Learn. My name is Laura Webster. I'm a Career Academy coach. I'm also joined by my two colleagues from the District Office Workforce Education Office, Joy Thompson and Leslie Green. So without further ado. My name is Johnny Santos. I'm a certified general contractor. And I'm also the director of operations here for Warren Smith Construction Group. I'm here in Tampa, Florida. My story is a little bit different. I have about 33 years of construction um, experience within the construction field. Um, but like I said, my story started a little bit differently when I was in high school and actually graduating from high school. Um, you know, I didn't have a real direction. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, I know I liked working with my hands. Um, so I figured construction would be a good way for me to kind of like pursue a career. Ultimately, my mom got tired of me taking apart the toaster at home and trying to figure out how it works. So we, I decided to go ahead and get into um, maybe possibly getting into like an electrical field. Um, so I went ahead and attended Irwin Technical School and uh, went through that school program and got my certification as, as an electrician. From there, I was fortunate enough to go ahead and get into a company and started working for a company as an electrical helper. And then they, um, like we were talking about earlier, they gave me the opportunity to go ahead and become an apprentice with them. Um, so I went through the whole apprenticeship program with the company, uh, completed the apprenticeship program, and then ultimately went and got my journeyman license with them. Um, so from that point on, I started becoming a project manager superintendent for the electric company and worked for about 10 years with them. Throughout the process, I worked on several different projects. And then ultimately, I was on a project where the general contractor uh, came and spoke to me and they were looking for a project manager that had an electrical background. Uh, so I went ahead and took that opportunity to go ahead and start working with them. In the meantime, um, I wanted to give back. So I actually became a certified electrical instructor as well uh, and went back and actually taught for the first year apprenticeship program for a while as well. Um, but in doing so, I started working the general contractor side of the work and then ultimately went back and got more training and became a certified general contractor. So throughout that whole process, um, the understanding and capability to be able to go ahead and have all that training and have it being done, you know, the, the biggest benefit that I had with that was um, the idea or concept that went behind the soft skills. You know, we talk about the soft skills and having the capability to be able to communicate. Um, my dad gave me three things to, to kind of like work with when I, when I first started working in the construction industry. He, he said, you know, the three things are one, you know, always shake a hand and, and, and shake a hand firmly when you go to meet somebody, look them in the eyes when they're talking to them, and then you're only on time when you're 15 minutes early. Um, so those three things have stuck to me my whole life and put aside all the degrees or and or certifications or licenses. You know, those have been the, one of the biggest benefits I've been able to work with throughout my whole life. So Warren Smith, so Warren Smith was established in 1984. Um, we're one of the leading contractors here in the state of Florida. Um, and we have over 650 employees working with us. Um, throughout that, that employee process, we actually have about 140 skilled craftsmen that work with us as well. Um, the reason being is that um, in addition to being a commercial uh, contractor, we're also a wastewater contractor. So we actually employ um, actual self-performed employees like uh, concrete foremen or rebar foremen or uh, plumbers or welders that we actually work with and actually when we're working on the actual wastewater treatment plants. Um, the company itself has about $200 million worth of, of, of annual revenue. Um, but with that said, you know, the company is really, a, they have a small feel to them, you know, that they really appreciate their employees and they do a lot for their employees. But the idea of the concept that have a, a company that has a lot of backing and capability to be able to build bigger projects is something that, that really holds true throughout the industry as far as the state of Florida goes. And, and the fact that we have a bonding capability of over $100 million dollars for a single project, it really it really tells you what we're capable of being able to do for as a company throughout the state of Florida. As far as the company itself is concerned, like I said, the, the original company started out as a wastewater contractor. Our headquarters were out of Sanford, Florida. And since then, we, we branched out and created um, branch offices throughout the state of Florida. Uh, so we're all the way from the, the from the um, panhandle all the way down to like the South Florida itself and Fort Myers. And, and then we started expanding out further from that and went to Baton Rouge, Gulfport and North Carolina. And just recently, we actually um, opened up an office in Texas as well. 
So we're all all the way part of the Southeast region, and we want to be the, you know, the contractor of choice in the state of Florida, which is what, what our main goal is throughout. So what do we do here at Warren Smith? Um, like I said, we are a water, wastewater, and commercial contractor. Uh, with that said, 90% um, of our work, what we do is going to be uh, relationship type based public work. Uh, for us, the relationship is one of the biggest factors that we work with because ultimately, no matter how well we do on a project, if we don't have that recommendation or we don't have that reference for the next project, you know, we didn't win. We, our, our goal is to be that con uh, construction manager and choice on every project, and that's what we want to be able to do. In addition to that, you know, we build a lot of K through 12, kindergarten through 12th grade um, schools and higher education. Uh, we do public safety work, which is a lot of like um, um, police stations and fire stations. Uh, we do entertainment as a Manta, as was one of the projects that we built a while back. In addition to like sports field, UCF Stadium, which is something that we were involved in as well. And in addition to like religious type of uh, structures, such as churches. As far as Warren Smith is concerned, you know, the biggest factor that we have here is that, you know, yes, we are a contractor. Yes, we are a builder. And we want to not only just be the builder, like I said, we want to be the contractor of choice for everywhere we work. So the way we do that is we want to be able to give back. Um, here's a list of the different associations that we're involved with that we give back to our, our communities and make sure that, that we're going to be part of those communities. You know, we don't want to be the contractor that's going to come in and do work and leave. We want to be part of the community and we're going to continue to be part of that community. So we, we're heavily involved in giving back to the community. We have a lot of involvement with that as far as what we're going to be doing for the communities and being um, ultimately involved in everything we do for giving back to them. So the end result is, is that, you know, we wanted to talk about, we're all here to talk a little bit about, you know, the construction industry and what we're doing with the constru construction industry itself. So I was able to put together a list of like just average average um, hourly rates that are actually going after the construction industry. As you can see, um, the average is running around $21 an hour for all the different parts in the construction industry or as far as all the different trades are concerned. Um, but the, the biggest part about that is a lot of these is all about training and understanding and the capability of being able to train and be able to come in and do these types of actual trades and these types of work. Um, a couple of the pictures I see on the right hand side here are, are pictures of us actually on job sites where we're able to go ahead and build and bring concrete form in and, and build projects and build you know, the interior sheetrock work and have carpenters and have sheet metal contractors and, and electricians and plumbers and everybody that else is needed for the projects to be able to do these projects, you know, because without them, we wouldn't be able to build them. Um, and then ultimately us as construction managers, you know, we employ project managers and we employ superintendents. So a big portion of that is being able to go ahead and have the management of the project and as you can see, we you know our annual our annual rates are that can go anywhere from seventy thousand dollars to one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. So there there is money to be made within construction, um, and there is a way for us to bring people in and actually have them being um, working with us and, and go through internships and work through the process of of gaining the knowledge and capability to work with us on on a daily basis. Uh, for us, it's all about having. The, the loyalty, a good work ethic, and then ultimately want the wantingness to be able to learn. Uh, and that's the biggest pro process that we go through in construction is having that capability to bring somebody in that's gonna be wanting to be there and be there on time and be able to wanna be able to learn and go through the whole process and start from the beginning to, to be able to get, get up to the point where we're at today. I wanna leave you with um, the last part of what I have for Warren Smith here, which is all of our um, different type of municipalities and trades that we work in. And then ultimately, at the end, if there's any questions, please feel free to ask and let me know what's going to be needed for the, the process as far as understanding what we do in the construction industry. And I thank you for allowing me to be here today to speak to you. Sounds like it's all about the skill, huh? It's not about not necessarily about knowing it up front. It's it's learning it and having right. that willingness to, to learn it. All right. It seems to me you got to learn the skill and then tap it off with education. Is it, You sort of learn those different skills, carpentry, plumbing, whatever. And then I suppose the goal somewhat is to become the project manager then, right? Ultimately, yes. But I mean, it, it's not necessarily that's something that's out there. I mean, there's money to be made in every trade that's out there. Um, and every trade has the project manager or the foreman and, you know, the, the people who are leading at all those trades all the way through. So uh, as long as you're able to have the willingness and the wantingness to be able to continue on and go through your career. Bridge Technical College. You can see behind me, um, this is our building trades and construction technology lab area and our program. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about uh, Ridge Technical College and then I'm gonna hand it off to 
our instructor, Mr. George Milliken, who runs our, our construction academy. In the construction area, we offer electricity, AC, heating, refrigeration, air conditioning, HVAC, and then building trades, construction design technology. We are a post-secondary institution. We are primarily an adult uh, population, but we do dual enroll our high school students through our um, high schools that are feed into us. That's um, Lake Region, Ridge Community, Winter Haven, um, Haines City, Auburndale, uh, Lake Wells, and we also have a welding program at Roosevelt. For the high school students, you can come join us your junior and 10th, uh, junior and 11th grade. You have to be at least 16 years or older. Um, and you can dual enroll with us, still be enrolled with your home high school and graduate with your home high school. But you attend your classes here at Ridge Technical College. Now I'm going to hand it off to Mr. Um, George Milliken, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about our construction traits. Hi, I'm George Milliken. I'm, I'm going to tilt this a little bit so you can see some of my students behind me. Uh, can you guys do that there? there sir. We have been framing, uh, doing a framing series. We uh, did the platform, then we went to the walls, and, and then we're also doing a conventional build for rafters. But anyway, we've been going, going through that. We also go through masonry, uh, brick and block. We won a trophy last year uh, for the masonry from the Masonry Apprenticeship uh, Foundation. Uh, so we, our team, won first place in the competition. Uh, I had two post-secondary uh, students go to uh, win the state, and then I have one student that went on to national in in masonry that uh, came in seventh place out of a thousand points from first to to his position, he was within 28 points. This is building trades and construction design. We hit the, primarily the uh, uh, structural components of a residential and light commercial construction. From there, we do, we do interior and exterior finishes as well. We do have a component of electrical, HVAC and plumbing. And we have those programs here at Ridge and the instructors, uh, the other instructors bring uh, more expertise than I have. I, I'm a GC, I have a, but I, I've been in construction a lot of years, but my primary uh, uh, area has been the structural components, but we have a lot of expertise here at Ridge. So we uh, team teach here. A lot of my people will go to work as partners or masons or something related. A lot of the skills they learn uh, I found that people are interested in my students, uh, like one uh, for sprinklers, uh, installing sprinklers or whatever. There's a number of industries that uh, recognize that if they've been through a program like this and, and, and achieved their uh, uh, certificate, they, they're trained. But we uh, do a lot with the other programs as well. Uh, some of my students have gone on and taken uh, electrical, to be, have some structural knowledge, and mechanical is, is really strong. This is pretty much what we do here. We do, I do have post-secondary students there with me all day. The high school students come in. Uh, they Typically, they have two or three periods with me. The advantage of that is they don't have to pay tuition, and uh, if they don't complete, uh, they, they can finish out as a uh, post-secondary student. So they could come here their junior and senior year. And uh, so we uh, we enjoy the program. I could continue to talk all day about our my program. Uh, so I'm excited about it. Uh, we do a lot of hands-on. We use the NCCR curriculum. Uh, and so uh, if we do the so this is building trades and construction design. We have a lot of adults here, uh, but we, we like high school students as well. And uh, it's good that we do some of the larger projects and they get to uh, see it and more. Uh, they're not here all day, but they get the history of it. And uh, when they come back as adults, uh, they do very well. We, we do team teach here with the HVAC and the electric. This is uh, 
Levi. So Mr. Milken's been having us work on a variety of projects. Um, I've been finishing up a little masonry, a masonry project over the back there. Uh, other people have been working on framing the wall here. Uh, other people have been working on uh, calculating out how to cut out um, rafters. This program has a lot of um, things to offer. You know, I think uh, you get a, like a re like a really good overview of how basic construction works. You know, making you you get a lot of basic uh, basic skills like such as using a hammer. You know, using pliers and so much. You know, basic hand tool stuff. So we get a lot of technology. We go into some of the codes and how to read the drawings. Uh, we go into some construction management things and how to organize a job. And my guys, safety first. We start a job, we stay on it, we finish it. Uh, we talk about what you can expect uh, if you're on a, on a job and you go work for a contractor. Uh, uh, they expect that. Some basic expectations is that you show up on time. Transportation is important. Uh, employability skills are very important. I had a, uh, a project manager ask me at a large masonry company, he said, we know you can train the guys, but can you train them to keep their jobs? So showing up on time is very important. So I try to communicate that, what to expect, uh, and uh, how to get along on a job, how to uh, stay the course. And that's what we're wanting is people in the industry that will stay the course. It's a great industry to be in, but you got people, you got your top one third, middle third, and your bottom one third. And the bottom one third are people that you have to tolerate. And they're the ones that are um, bad mouth the industry the loudest. So I try to tell them to ignore that and that construction is a great field to get in. It's been good to a lot of people and good to me. So anyway, I, I, uh, we love our industry. The thing is about the trades, it, it doesn't matter what trade you come from. If you're a carpenter, a mason, if you're an electrician or a plumber, you ask who's building that job, they say I am. So there's a lot of ownership in construction. We work as a team. And if you want to, I tell my guys, if you want to move up, then you got to get along with people. Uh, you've got to learn how to read the drawings and you will move up. And uh, anyway. But I, I can talk more, but uh, I think you sort of got this of what I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm glad to participate in this. And my students, we had fun uh, doing it. So anyway, we need to do it again. So thank you, Mr. Milliken. And that's what we do. We have some related careers also at Ridgestone College. We have drafting that's related to the construction industry and also welding. So those of you that are interested to Ridge Technical, you can find us on the web at www.ridge.edu, or you can call us or just stop by. My name's Paul Garrison, I'm the director, and thank you, Chris, for having us. I'm gonna just thank all the presenters for, for, for uh, giving us your time and the schools for attending. Thank you everyone for being here and sharing such good information. Good to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you, and I hope to see the students at our open houses.